DigiKey, SupplyFrame and Amphenol RF present Farm Different, a three-part series about people, technology and the challenges of modern agriculture. It's, it's the industry that's least penetrated by technology, by digital technology. You've got to understand that ag is a complex moving system that, that the technology has to fit into and not the other way around. Startups come up continuously and they're one of the best vehicles to be able to have that large impact and grow from something very small, very genuine, and very something with a lot of integrity to something huge and that's really impacting all the people in the world. I think we'll, we'll see a big impact from 5G technology, autonomous vehicle uh, advancements, robotics, and also AI. In our final episode, we travel virtually around the globe to speak with growing agriculture businesses and discover how their innovations using modern technology are accelerating the digital transformation of farms around the world. Our journey begins in Australia with Stu Adam and Tim Howell, co-founders of Agronomine, a startup that empowers farmers with highly accurate 3D models that allow for critical data-backed decisions in regards to water management and redevelopment proposals. At Agronomy, we are digitizing agriculture from the ground up. So what we're doing is we're creating high resolution 3D models of complete farming systems. So the farmer can look at that farming system, understand his asset, understand where the water moves, and then start to build his knowledge um, on top of that information uh, to, be, to be better at what they do and be more sustainable and be more efficient. We had a concept of using drones to take imagery. We started looking into the ag space and realized that there's a, there's a way to use the tech that we were using as a tool versus just a pretty picture. And then that just kind of developed to where we are today. We initially started looking at the crop health stuff and quickly we realized that there's a bigger picture here and that's looking at the underlying asset and then building the models of the underlying asset to give a starting point. So that's kind of how Agronomy was born, I guess. We're just waiting for the, uh, the plane to take off and um, start getting some of that data. A lot of people in ag tech and building technologies um, think that farmers or growers or managers are just sitting around waiting for the silver bullet to turn up and solve all their problems, you know. Farmers have got a million different things to consider and do in a day. They can't, you know, be changing the way that they do things drastically to, you know, enable your technology trial. You've got to be adaptable. You've got to be malleable. You've got to understand that ag is a a complex moving system that the technology has to fit into and not the other way around. Ag tech startups have received $6.7 billion in investments over the course of the last five years, with $1.9 billion in the last year alone, further solidifying these growing businesses as the drivers of agriculture's future around the world. Luke Young and Rory Humby, the co-founders of Agracy, a startup pushing the boundaries of ocean-based farming. And for me at that moment, it was this realization of just how much potential our oceans hold. And they have all the nutrients available and the space to be able to feed 10 billion people. It's really a case of how do we work with that was then moving into our next step is actually planting the ocean, having these ocean farms in place. Um, so at the moment, we're working with different ways of actually manufacturing this, to be able to produce um, these different platforms, these scaffolds that hold um, meshes inside them this is our first foray into business as like a startup, our first startup. But we've seen such good like response from people in like just showing what, what we're about, what we want to do, and like people actually really come together to try and build this out as much as possible. Um, it's this incredible thing. And because these are such big problems, sort of having that big community where you can all tackle it together, I think it's really important, especially mm -hmm. for like the problems of climate change, global warming, and all the pressures that are facing agriculture for the future. Mm. Um, it's definitely a really good community to be part of. Across the globe, 10% of farmers in North America are already using soil sensors in as many as 5 million acres of land, with promising results. With farming and, and technology, I mean, it just enhances the productivity, the efficiency, a lot of different factors that farmers have to take into account. On the farm, it was kind of hit everything in mass. If you use fertilizer, it was fertilize everything. Same with pesticides, herbicides, and and the efficiencies of that today are, are so much better. So it's really been a trend of going to produce more with much fewer resources and, and really identifying a lot of things today with sensor data that you couldn't 20 years ago. Patrick Henry is the president and CEO of Grow Guru, a startup that offers soil sensors to measure everything from moisture to temperature and salinity, utilizing an AI-based platform that ultimately takes the guesswork out of optimizing harvests. 
and what we have developed is this uh, wireless underground system. It's a wireless communication capability where we can communicate through multiple feet of soil, rock, concrete, whatever. So this allows us to permanently install the soil moisture sensors below the till depth. So farmers can just farm over the top. And then we give it to the farmer on this uh, very simple, intuitive, farmer-friendly user interface. If you can help farmers increase crop yield or reduce input costs and save water, those are both really good things. And there's kind of government mandates around some of these things. And if you can do both at the same time, which is what we do, then it's, it's incredibly valuable. Mike Comer, the Director of Business Development and Product Marketing at Amphenol RF, explains how the company's products play a role across the smart agriculture ecosystem. Many of the connectors in the IoT space are relatively standard products. Um, now you'll see threaded connectors like SMA or TNC or Type N connectors. The farm environment or the environment of an agricultural space really requires a more robust product. A product sealed to IP67 or you know, beyond that even to, to meet the needs of that environment. And over time, as we get more and more feedback, we can utilize our product management team to develop new products and launch into the market to companies like DigiKey who can stock that product and feed into those development chains. You know, digital transformation for DigiKey is, is really nothing new. And you know, being able to take technology, sensors, I've mentioned they've been around for a while, whether it's proximity or uh, ambient light or pressure or sound or position sensors, and you combine that with some data translation, A to D or D to A and some processing, the next thing you know, you transmit the signals of our real world into digital bits that can first be monitored and then later can be acted upon. And we've seen that happen and touch virtually every industry. New approaches to agriculture and farming technologies are required to address the ever-changing nature of our modern world. Innovators like these, combined with willing and able professionals across the industry, will chart a new path forward to grow, harvest and feed the people of this planet we call home. The future of farming begins when we farm different.